So the final NRC draft is approaching and it will be published on August 31st. So with me, I have a person who have been voicing against the inclusion of illegal immigrants and that is none other than uh, Mr. Uh, Shiladitta Dev. Uh, so I'll talk to him and let know, let people know that what exactly uh, he want to convey to the people of Assam. See, uh, now it's another four days to go, just another four days. And for the last three years, I've been voicing this. I've, I've, I have, in fact, uh, tried to explain how uh, corrupt practices are being used for this uh, NRC uh, updating process. I have mentioned how uh, you know, illegal immigrants are being used for this particular work. So therefore, uh, the, f the faith and trust uh, I don't have on NRC, uh, and there has not been proper monitoring. We always talk about uh, uh, Honorable Supreme Court's monitoring, but I don't understand. I mean, if, if we go by the uh, dictionary meaning of monitoring, there has to be some process who will monitor. Now, in this case, the person who is responsible for updating the NRC, if he is the monitor, then it is a different issue. But there is no committee which is monitoring the entire process. So therefore, uh, we always keep on saying that under the monitoring of Honorable Supreme Court, but it is not as such. It is a one-man show. He is trying to behave like a super uh, chief minister. He doesn't hear anybody. He just go to the Supreme Court and uh, speaks his own uh, thought and tries to get work done accordingly. It is going to harm the people of Assam. It is going to destroy the culture and demography of Assam. And uh, still we'll wait another four days to go. Uh, after 31st August, uh, we'll see how best uh, the energy gives us. Else, we'll have to work out. What is it that makes, gives you a strong uh, feeling that uh, anomalies are being going on? Anomalies are there because lakhs and lakhs of Bangladeshi Muslims have found a name in the NRC who came after 1971 and genuine uh, Hindu migrants who came before 1971 but unable to sh produce proper papers because you know that before 1971 these Hindu migrants have come from East Pakistan and they came because of religious persecution. How can the, a religious persecuted person who ran away from East Pakistan to save his life, do you think he'll be carrying his papers? And the papers we, which he could collect in uh, India were more mainly uh, migration certificate or relief certificate and uh, other things. But those were not considered properly. I can tell you one thing, 855 shahids of Assam agitation, there's one person, Mr. Madan Malik, he migrated to um, uh, Assam way back in 1962-1963. He is documented in 1964 in the, relief, as, in the relief certificate. But his family members are facing uh, uh, foreigners' notice today. So if this is the situation, it means you're targeting somebody and you're trying to safeguard somebody. So there has to be some nexus and political interest. Will not this harm the Assamese community? Will not this harm the state of Assam? So NRC was required not just to uh, make somebody uh, Indian citizen and make Indian citizens foreigner. NRC was meant to safeguard the interest of the people of Assam and which is not happening. So one thing I would like to ask that uh, the approach that the party also like the BJP party, apart from you, now the party is also voicing that uh, anomalies are going on. Why at the last moment? Not at the last moment, because I was speaking as an individual. I was speaking as a Assamese uh, a citizen that uh, this is my problem. I could see I was, I was there not just as a political person, but as a political party. They have to wait. They have to really find out whether it is true. And today, they have, the party has realized with uh, uh, experimentation, with collection of clues that yes, there is a lot of uh, hodgepodge going on. There are a lot of anomalies going on and therefore the party has to voice the concern. So that was with me, uh, Shiladita Dev. He is the Hujai MLA who has been voicing against this NRC.